All right, uh, let's uh, look at flight modes. Um, flight modes are basically just collections of configuration and behavior, and um, you can set them up so that you can switch quickly from one collection of these configurations and behaviors to another one by uh, usually flipping a switch. So you can set up um, some number of switches, uh, up to three. Uh, in this case, for example, that you might just uh, have this one, flight mode, flight mode two, two, flight mode, flight one. mode one, or you can have multiple switches to switch. Uh, between your flight modes. I've got it configured at the moment to have both of these switches determine what flight mode we're in. Um, so let's have a look um, at how to do that. The configuration and the, the behavior is in the transmitter, but you can also send what flight mode you're in across one of the RC channels to your device, and then your device might, uh, might also change its behavior. Uh, in this case, uh, for example, there's some different flight modes I want to get into uh, where I can have it be on hold so there's no motors moving, or manual so I can con control the device uh, using the joysticks, or uh, in acro mode or auto mode or what have you, different flight modes that the flight controller is going to adopt. All right, so let's have a look at how we would set that up. Um, first off, we go into uh, the system setup and turn off the radios and then pop into flight mode setup and you can see in here I've got uh, two switches involved in determining what flight mode it is you could add a third one however many switches you want and you do that just by moving to the switch location here in the initial uh, configuration it's just going to say inhibit 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 but in this case you would select that and then you would say which switch you want to be uh, involved in setting the flight mode um, in this case, uh, you know, I've got switch C and switch F. These are the two switches that are going to configure my flight mode. Um, and then uh, you can select as many switches as you want. And then um, once you've determined how many switches you want to be involved in selecting, because you can have up to as many different combinations of these switches that you've selected here, can be that many flight modes you can go into. Um, in this case, these are two three-way switches, and that will give us nine different combinations. Um, but it says here flight mode six, right? So why does it say flight mode six? Well, that happens on the next screen, because you say uh, you go into... Um, the next screen and you get for each of the nine different combinations that you can set these switches into it's going to um, it's going to you're going to be able to say what flight mode you want that combination to be in so here we've got it in flight mode one um, flight mode two so for, for each combination of these two switches you can move around and, and find the combination uh, that you want to, to program and then you would select it and say, well, what flight mode do you want that particular combination to be? Uh, so I've just got it configured so that when the switches are in the up position, it's flight mode one. And then as I move down in this switch on the right hand side, switch F, I'm going to increase flight mode one, two, three. And then I'll go down on the left hand side and I will go flight mode four, five, six. Now here's, here's where it gets interesting. I can switch down from that, and all of these still I've mapped to flight mode six. And that's why it's determined that there are really only f six flight modes in play, because once this, this switch on the left-hand side is in the lower position, all of, them, all of the different boxes map to flight mode six, which is the same as uh, the, this switch on the down position and this in the middle position. So in aggregate, there are only one, two, three, four, five, six different flight modes reflected in the collection of flight modes mapped to these nine positions. That's why on the previous page, we had, uh, it said there are only six flight modes. Now that's important because later when we come to map what gets sent out on the RC channel, we will have six different, different levels to set when we're going and configuring our switches. So you can see what we've done in here. We've selected our switches. We've mapped each of the positions of those switches here, which are nine different positions. We map them. In my case, I map them to six different flight modes. One, two, three, four, five, six, 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 six. So there are only six different flight modes in there. And then we're done. Okay, so we can go back, go back, 
and then we can go into the um, digital switch setup and we can switch to flight mode and we can see here now one two three four five six there are six different levels that we get to configure because on that other screen I had put six different flight modes into the nine different boxes that I could have filled with nine different flight modes but I chose to only put six in there so now we have six different levels and you can see I've configured them to be minus 100% through plus 100% in steps of 40 so there's 100% 60 20 minus 20 20 60 and 100 so this gives me six different levels of of uh, uh, settings to go out on the RC channel so you can see here also that the channel uh, 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 the flight mode is set to channel 3 um, so let's go and have a quick look at how, how we did that we covered that previously um, just go back here and go back to the system setup turn the radios off pop in here to channel assign and you can see that flight mode has been assigned to three and we did that just by dropping in here and going through and finding flight mode in the list of options all right so that's that's how we did that um, and then yeah so now you can see that the different levels if we switch to monitor we can see the flight modes flight mode four. as i switch through these flight goes from one. minus 100 percent up flight to 100 percent through for the flight modes one through six and then it doesn't it once we select the bottom on the left hand side here i've got all of these mapped just to flight mode six so it doesn't make any difference so you can see what we can do there all right so that's how we ended up sending out on augs3 uh, the flight mode settings and how we got to have six and how we got to say what each of those six levels were going to be and then it's a matter of configuring this guy to expect uh, a signal in those bands, within those bands, to, um, to determine for itself what it wants to map those band levels to each flight modes. So we'll do that in another video.